Okay, hello. Um, today we're going to just quickly go over um, how to set up Eclipse um, for Android and um, PhoneGap. So the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to start from fresh and we're going to take out uh, any type of uh, Notepad or Notepad Plus because we're going to have to uh, write some stuff down. So the first thing is uh, I'm going to tell you what websites to go to, and that will be. Okay, and. Oh, let me see if I can make this any bigger. That's the big as it goes. Uh, okay, but it's pretty big, so you're going to want to go to http colon forward slash forward slash oracle.com slash tech network uh, forward slash java forward slash java se forward slash downloads and it should bring you to index.html and once you're there and we're gonna make this really big um, you're gonna click on java platform jdk 7u21 and once we're at the download page, you're going to go to the first uh, set of downloads. And you're going to want to either get the Windows 64-bit uh, or 32-bit, uh, x86, 32-bit, depending on your uh, operating system. To see what operating system you have, right-click on your computer and go to Properties. And uh, you will see uh, either 64-bit or 32-bit operating system right here. Okay, so I have the 64-bit, so what I want to do is I'm going to download, oh, first you have to uh, agree to their terms. Okay, once you agree, just click on the download, and while that's downloading, um, we're going to download uh, Eclipse, the Eclipse bundle, so we're going to go to... Okay, and you're going to let um, the Java file run. Since I have it already, I'm just going to press no. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to... Oops copy and you're going to want to go to http colon forward slash forward slash developer dot android dot com forward slash sdk and that will bring you to the android sdk uh, page and what you're going to want to do is to click this big blue um, button that says download the sdk and depending on what you downloaded for your java jdk you have to download the same uh, bits and operating system so I have to get the 64 bit and agree and it will start the download okay now what while it's downloading um, you're gonna make a new folder um, on your desktop and call it Android. Oops, I already have one. So I'm just going to make my Android 2. And we're going to wait for this to download. While this is downloading, let's go to our uh, computer and hard drive C. Now, depending on what you picked, now let's let me make this bigger. Um, you're gonna if you have a 64-bit and you download a 64-bit uh, Java JDK, you're gonna go to Program Files. If you have 32-bit, you're gonna go to Program Files 86. So I'm gonna go to Program Files for 64-bit, and I'm gonna go to 
the folder that says Java and I have the JDK now so I double click on the JDK and we need this path so what we're gonna do is on this top URL bar we are going to copy and we're going to paste it here and I have mine uh, Java JDK folder in C program files Java JDK um, 1.7.0 underscore 13 okay so we don't need that anymore and this is almost done downloading okay so if it opens on its own great if not uh, get it from your downloads folder I'm going to take this whole folder that says ADT Bundle Windows and I'm going to drag it into my Android 2 folder on my desktop. Okay, so once it's there, uh, we get out of all the browsers because we don't need the browsers now. And we're going to go to our Android folder and our ADT folder. And we're going to double click. We'll have three folders saying SDK Eclipse. So we're going to double click our SDK uh, folder. And then uh, we need two things we need platform and platform tools. So we're going to double click our platform folder. And we're going to click the top URL bar um, and get that path. and this should look something like this and then we're going to go back and get platform tools copy and we're going to paste it right beneath okay and now we should have um, our program files for Java JDK um, our ADT bundles and uh, platform tools and platform and we need one more thing let's go back uh, now we're going to double click Eclipse and we're going to double click plugins and we should have look for the folder that says org.apache.ant underscore 1.8.3 v and then a bunch of numbers so we'll double click that and we're going to copy and we're going to paste it right underneath our java jdk path okay so once we have that we're almost done um, the only thing you have to do is go to computer you're going to highlight computer right click properties then we're going to go to advanced system settings on the top left hand side of that window then we're going to go to environment variables in the first screen that comes up okay and um, and we're going to Okay, so now we're going to um, Ant Home. I already have it, so I'm, you're not going to have this by default. So you're going to go to uh, on your second pane. You're going to click New, and you're going to type in Ant Home, and we're going to take from our uh, our list that we made in the Notepad. We're going to copy and we're going to go back to environment variables and paste and you're going to press OK but I already have it so I'm going to press cancel uh, the next thing we're going to do is and make another one we're going to call it Java home in our environment variables and we're going to take um, the path from our notepad again for the Java, our Java home and we're going to bam copy and paste and you're going to again you're going to press OK but I already have it so I'm going to press cancel. 
Uh, the last thing you have to do is go to your path. Now this is tricky because if you forget to put semicolons where needed, uh, you're not going to be able to, it's not going to work and you're going to have a hell of a time for trying to figure out what you did wrong. So what you're going to do is uh, at the very end of the last uh, path and a lot of Windows um, programs use this path so don't delete anything just put a semicolon after the last um, path that was put by a program and you're going to copy and paste um, our Java JDK. Oh, first, let's do this. Uh, let's add backslash bin bin. Okay, because in the path it's going to need the bin folder for both uh, the Java JDK and uh, the ant folder. So we're going to do backslash bin for uh, the ant folder as well. So let's copy and paste our Java JDK and make sure you put bin at the end. Uh, backslash bin and we are going to copy and paste semicolon and we're going to copy and paste our um, uh, or dot apache dot ant path with our bin attached to the end semicolon and we don't have to do anything to our uh, platform platform tools copy and semicolon and one more time copy and semicolon oh that's it no semicolon I'm sorry so we should have uh, our Java JDK backslash bin org.apache.ant backslash bin uh, SDK platforms and SDK platform tools and let me just make sure that's right and platform and platform okay perfect okay so all you have to do is then press ok and I'm gonna press cancel again because I have it and just press ok and press ok and you can get out of uh, all the folders and the way to test this is um, you're gonna go to your Android folder and you're going to um, oh actually we have to do one more thing let's go to You're going to go to www.phonegap.com and at the time of this video, um, the latest build is PhoneGap 2.8.1 but this uh, will also carry over to later versions of PhoneGap. And once it's downloaded, we have PhoneGap and we're going to drag let's go back now we're going to drag our phone gap folder in that main android 2 folder and we're going to double click our phone gap folder go to library android and bin and we're going to copy uh, it right from our url bar and let's type in CMD in the search and let's get to our command prompt and once we're in command prompt we are going to type in CD period period forward slash period period forward slash that will get us to our main CD C folder and then we're going to type in CD right click with your mouse because it won't work if you use the keyboard shortcuts and paste and it should take us to our uh, Android I mean, I'm sorry, phone gap, lib, Android, bin folder, and all we're going to type in is create. Um, okay. All right, okay, so we're going to type in create. Okay, I guess now um, they just... Uh, make sure you type in a, I used to be able to type in create just to make sure I could make a, um, a, a file, but now you actually have to type in everything. So, you're going to type in create, then type in your name, my name is Dan, and then you're going to type in com.yourname.yourname, 
and then space your name again and you're gonna I already had that existed but your program will create and you will see it right in your bin folder uh, and that means that you have successfully made a phone gap project and now let's go to Eclipse and I'll show you how to import that project so let's go to Eclipse Okay, so once you're in, um, the in uh, once you're in Eclipse, you're going to go to File, New, Project, and then you're going to uh, try to open the Android folder and then Android application from existing code or Android project from existing code. Press Browse, and then you're going to navigate yourself to. Uh, the folder containing that project that we made. So we need to go to Android 2, PhoneGap 2.8.1, lib, Android, bin, and I have my damn project right here. And oops, I go back because I uh, let's go browse. And I have to actually select Dan and press OK and then I should be able to press finish and it will uh, bring itself to um, into the folder okay okay and to just uh, see what we're working with. You go to assets and www and you should have everything you need right here and that's it. So that's how we set up Eclipse and Android SDK. Thank you.